So I have a buddy who uh, came to my house and he wants me to build another stinger for his winch plate here. Okay, uh, His winch sits right here. So he's not happy with the original stinger here. So what we're going to do is he, we measured this. It's not, it's not tall enough for him. So he wants the distance between here and here to be seven inch tall. And he wants it to be right here. Okay. Uh, and right here. He wants me to raise the stinger to about seven inch tall from here to the underside. And then in addition to that, he wants uh, another thing that looks like this to go to run over this way to the stinger okay so that's what he wants me to do and so this is what i'm doing i've i've already measured this and i've already cut this uh tube right here it's 120 wall and it's dom tubing it's the same thing as this right here so that's made out of a 1026 steel a rock slider steel so that's what i'm doing i'm going to be bending that to uh, about 50 degrees because he wants it to be a little bit more aggressive going up this way and down that way so that's what we're doing for him and uh, i'll show you the end result this this is the look before okay guys so we got this thing bent and cut so it is standing seven inch you can see there number seven okay so you'll notice that it's really tall but it is it isn't because it's going to be slanted like this okay so it's going to be slanted like that okay so it's seven inch sorry for the noise that's my brother he's from sacramento he's here to uh build uh, uh rock sliders for his truck and his forerunner so that's my brother. Sorry about the noise, but we're coming along. It's pretty fine. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this off. Okay, he wants it to be here. Okay, so I bent this to here, right almost to that little spot where he wants it to be. And so now I'm gonna cut this out, grind it off, and then I'm gonna start a little uh, part like this here. Okay, so yeah it's coming along uh, well and uh, it's fun okay, so basically he wants this bad boy right here to be mounted uh, in the same angle here you see there in the same angle so you got my angle finder here I'm gonna see if I could find the angle it is 58.4 degrees so he wants it to be that angle so I'm gonna Try to see if I could do 58 degrees, okay? Plus or minus 0.4. So, yeah, uh, it's coming along. I'm gonna start blasting this off. So, we'll see what happens, guys. So, I got this thing cut off, and I'll show you how this thing looks like. Okay, see that? It's got a hole here. Don't ask me why. Oh, I know why. It's for ventilation. Okay. And here as well. So, that's the bad boy. Okay, so I'm going to grind this off. I'm going to have to grind this off to where it's nice metal. And, and then I'm going to have to weld this hole, to, uh, hole in. Uh, and here to, to repair it so that when we paint, we can't tell the difference. That's what I have to do. Hey guys, so this is grounded off. As you can see. It looks pretty nice right now. And then this thing's gonna be right here, like so. Okay, so I'm gonna incorporate this thing to make another bar that goes here, like my buddy wants. So, uh, yeah, it's coming along very, very swell. It's fun. So, uh, I'm gonna measure this, make sure that I put everything, everything is, um, you know, centered when I pack it in. So, that's what I'm gonna do. So, Packed it in, you can see there, it is at 57.2 degrees. Okay, I'm gonna tack some more up here, and it'll rise to 58 degrees. So, it's coming along very, very nicely. Just letting you know, okay. So this is the bad boy, this is how it looks like. And uh, I'm gonna tack it in, I'm gonna burn it in, and 
then I'll show you how it looks like. Okay, so it's burned in. Okay, so it's about 59 degrees. Okay, well, 60 degrees now, and yeah, uh, give or take. So uh, that's the uh, what you call it angle that we were talking about. Okay, so this is my bead right here. Okay, just letting you know that you're in good hands. Okay, so, um, let's see. So I, I'm i gonna fill this in, okay? I'm gonna fill that in too. And then I'm gonna make this arm go here as you want it to be, okay? Uh, and then the other arm going from here to here. And I'll show you the finished product. All right? Okay, so, remember the hole here? It's gone. I made it go away. This hole is gone as well. So now she is ready to be welded on. See? That's like this. Like this. Okay. And I have another one. It's gonna go on here too. So she is looking good. There, this is the other side. There. See? Lines up very, very nice. Yeah. Okay, so that is packed up. Packed here, packed there, tech, tech. And there she is. She looks pretty badass. I'll have to let you know. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and burn this, if you don't mind. Okay, buddy. So it's done. Your winch plate has been modified and she is done. She's ready for you to come and pick her up. You can see it's uh, welded on pretty nicely and she's ready for you. She just needs you to paint her up and she is going to be happy with the truck. Let me know what your thoughts are.